The last seven and a half years have been more than anything I could have ever dreamed of. It's hard to even think I was able to get through life without you. <laughs> oh, <baby. laughs> oh, you're crying. I'm crying. Oh, so And then came Tom, the college sweetheart, who, when I asked him how long he and Christy had been a couple, answered with the words, close to forever. And now here you are to declare before God and before all of us that your intention is to be together, not just close to forever, but forever <laughs> and ever. You make me cry. You look so beautiful. <laughs> I, Thomas, take you, Christy, to be my wife. And Christy, take you, Thomas, to be my husband, to have and to hold. From this day forward. For better and for worse. For richer and for poor. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. As, as long, long as we both shall live. I now announce that they are husband and wife, and you may kiss your bride. Woo! Woo! Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Burke. I would ask Christy how they make their relationship work. And she had mentioned that every night without fail, Tom would send her a cute goodnight message reminding her how much he loves her. And I remember thinking how sweet that was. And I said, I wish someone would do that for me as a joke. But Tom being the person that he is, for like the next month, he sent me a goodnight message wishing me luck at softball or school or whatever it was for the day. And I don't even know if you remember this, but that is something that I'll never forget. We do all know that Tom and Christy are getting ready to start the longest journey of all. So let's all enjoy this uh, beginning of their most beautiful journey right here and right now. Christy, I am thrilled to have another sister. I thought Tommy was gonna be a sister, but he turned out to be a boy. I actually have another memory, it's at this memory right here, that I get to represent both of you guys in this moment, and I'm so honored to be by your side. If we could all make a toast to the prettiest person in the room, Tom. I woke up in it.